Hello and welcome to video number four. We're going to talk about your product and your service. So now that you understand your objective, it's time to bring things into the light and understand your buyer and how it relates to the product in a much better way. So it's quite obvious that you should know what you're selling. But I want you to complete an exercise and I'll give you some examples to follow along. So what I want you to do right now is to take out a pen and paper and start writing things down. If you don't like pen and paper, you can also pull out your iPhone or your smartphone as well. Now, ideally, it'd be better if you sit down with a prospect and do this. And if you can't try to get them on the phone and even pay them money, say, hey, I'll pay you X amount of money just to sit down with you and talk with you and list out four different needs or pain points that your product and service solves. In other words, what could your potential buyer lose by not buying your product and service? Let's take, for example, the security product from earlier. So if we write down the four different needs or pain points that a security product in general would solve, we would know number one, it would solve that anxiety and that fear and that concern about the family at night. Concern about pets when they're away. Concern about family when they are on a trip or anyone that's away. Concern about the house when they are away. So those are just four of the pain points that everybody most likely feels. Now, some people won't have pets. Some people won't have children. So that's why we try to cover as much as possible. Now, bear in mind that these four are merely scratching the surface. I could go on and list 10 or even 20 if we wanted to. And I advise you, if you can list more, then great. But the goal of this exercise is to merely get your brain jogging so that we're going to keep it with a lower number. But if you can do more, great, do more. Now, what I want you to ask yourself is this question. How much time would they lose, and they being your customers, if they didn't have what you were selling? Well, if they didn't have a security product and they were concerned with all these items, you already know that they have fear, they have anxiety that's probably keeping them up at night. They would probably have to keep checking the house. They would have to ask their neighbors to keep an eye out on it. They would lose sleep at night because of that anxiety, that worry of what could potentially happen. Now, obviously, it would change if we take a look at the father, the single woman, and the elderly couple. Based on those three, those could change in a variety of ways. So the father... If he's away on a trip, obviously he's going to be concerned about his family at home. If the single woman's away and she has a pet, she's obviously going to be concerned about the pet, right? So it can be different still in different ways. And overall, like I said, anxiety can cause stress and health issues. Now, don't worry about what buyer fits these concerns or pain points just yet. We're going to do that in the next video. What I'm trying to do here is merely get your brain jogging so that you can start thinking about these pain points and these loss of time and loss of something. So with that said, if you have not jotted down the pain points and the concerns plus the time loss that your buyers would face without getting your product and service, go ahead and do that right now. Feel free to pause this video and then unpause it when you are done. It's not going to take a lot of your time. So let's move on to video number five, and we're going to dig deeper. We're going to elaborate further and figure out which buyer fits what and how you can go about doing that.